your dog the basic supplies you'll need are a watch, two different pens, something to write on, and a poop bag. Then we're going to go into our leads. We get two leads of two different colors, so you can differentiate whenever you're harnessing that they're right on the, on the correct legs. Then we're going to go into the special harnesses. You want to make sure ahead of time if you're going to walk a dog who needs a special harness, so you can have it prepared whenever you're about to go walk. For the special harnesses, you need a special leash, and you also need a lead to go around the neck. When signing out your animal, make sure to initial next to your signed animal and write down the time on your watch. Everyone after the first walker will stay in order signing out their respective animals. For harnessing, Make sure the loop on your leads are large enough to go over the animal's head. Grab one lead and wrap it around either front leg. The other lead goes around the other leg. To check if you have harnessed correctly, the lead should form an X on their chest. Repeat this step for medium dogs. and for small dogs. For special harnesses, you need to make sure that the animal is sitting comfortably in its harness. The leash clips up top. And a lead to go around the animal's head to have more control. When walking indoors, grab at the base of the leads to have the most control. Turn right at the end of the walkway to get to the walking area for the dogs. Outside, you want to make sure that you hold by the base and not the collar, and you can let go when you get to the top of the ramp. And then make sure you're always walking in the grass area, not on the concrete. Go. Okay, so I see Rose coming this way, so I have to keep 10 feet distance between me and her. I have to keep walking, always stay walking, never stop moving, even after your lead walker calls dog number one, or uh, even after your lead walker calls one minute, stay walking. So during the walk, we have to do a short physical exam. So just put your hands on the animal, 
feel every surface of their body, make sure there's not any bumps or bruises. Um, yeah. So another responsibility as a walker to assess your dog's feces and urine. You want to make sure that you look for anything abnormal to make sure that you chart it. If you do notice that your dog has diarrhea or blood present, bring it to your leader and make sure that you report it to them. So that way they can run a fecal on it. This we would consider firm. If you ever have any question as to what you would categorize your poop as, there's charts all over dog word that you can check to make sure. One minute! Dog one in! When signing back in, write down the correct time from your watch and record their urine color, stool, body surface, and demeanor. Everyone else should do the same, staying in the order that you went out. With quarantine animals, go to the left of the ramp instead of the right to get to the quarantine walking area. The standard walking rules still apply.